What's up Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be showcasing the Jade Rabbit. Now my goal is to do a video showcasing each of the new exotic scout rifles. Uh, we got a few of them. So I'm going to tackle them one at a time starting with the Rabbit. Now this is a very interesting gun. And it has a very interesting um, main exotic perk. Here it is. It's called the Fate of All Fools. Chaining body shots gives you additional uh, damage on your next precision shot. And then that precision shot will return ammo into the magazine. Now I want to talk about this skill a little bit. Uh, this uh, weapon already has a bit of a cult following. And even a number of uh, major YouTubers and Twitchers are uh, really enjoying using this weapon. My opinion on it may be a little bit different. Now uh, basically just to tackle that main skill a little bit. The fate of all fools. Now uh, the... the Scout Rifle does 71 damage to the head if you don't chain any body shots first. Just a standard precision shot will do 71 damage to the head. Now this is a high impact Scout Rifle. That's a, that's a lot of precision damage. Just to put that into perspective, you think of something like the, the Mita Multi-Tool does 57 to the head. So this is a significantly more precision damage. It does 48 to the body. Now, do a little bit of math here. And you'll see that your one-on-one -on -one engagements are going to be largely unaffected. Because if you are going against an opponent with full health, and there's no team fire involved, it's just you taking on an opponent, which uh, the majority of your engagements are going to probably be like that, uh, there's no scenario where this is going to take less than four shots. So if you start with a body shot and you get 48 to the body, and then your next shot is a precision shot, it's going to go from 71 to 77 damage. It's going to add six damage for each body shot that you stack first. So if you go body head, you're still going to have to go two more shots to finish them off. You're going to need to do body head and then at least another body body or another body head. Now if you do two body shots first, you go 48, 48, and then you hit with a precision shot, it's only going to give you 83 damage on your next bullet, which is a lot of precision damage, but it's still not going to be enough to finish them off, so you're still going to have to hit them with that fourth shot. And then uh, if you get three body shots, then your precision shot is going to be 89 damage, which at, at that point will be more than enough to finish them off, but it's still four bullets. So long story short, that skill doesn't affect your engagements uh, against one opponent pretty much at all. <laughs> so the only thing that that's going to affect is if you finish an engagement, you finish a guy off, and you finish him off with a body shot. Because that's going to make your next precision hit hit for more. So that's the only way this would affect your uh, firefights at all, is if you finish a guy off with a body shot so that your next engagement, you're going to start off with more damage. So if you start off with a, um, a headshot that's going to proc for more damage, and then you can go body head or even head head after that. Then you could p potentially take them down in three bullets. But uh, doing some math, uh, long story short, is this isn't going to affect your engagements at all. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a very interesting perk, but it's not altogether useful or as useful as some other exotic perks out there, at least in my opinion. So, uh, is this weapon good? <laughs> even even uh, considering that the exotic perk doesn't proc much or doesn't really do much for you in PvP, is this a good weapon? I think it can be. The biggest downsides, obviously, are its mag size, rate of fire, and recoil. So the mag size is 7. Uh, that's pretty awfully pathetic. So in other words, you kind of need to get that um, precision hit to proc after bo chaining body shots in order to keep your magazine uh, refilling. But some of the, your uh, your skills on the weapon do kind of help with that. You have spray and play, which makes it so that if you hit zero in the mag, it's going to reload faster. And in the middle tree, you have speed reload, but I tend to roll with extended mag uh, instead because between spray and play and the uh, precision hits reloading your magazine size after body shots, uh, I, I just don't think that speed reload is necessary. So I roll with the extended mag instead, takes you up to 11 rounds in the magazine, which I'd rather have 11 uh, rounds in the mag than have 7 and be able to reload a little bit faster. Your third option in the middle tree is custom optics, which is a total waste, don't do it. Now, it also has zen moment, and that will help tame the recoil a little bit, but not much. This gun does bounce quite a bit, and so you have to wait for the sights to come back down and reset. Zen moment will help with that a little bit, 
but I, the recoil is is pretty difficult. It's it's uh, interesting. You're gonna end up missing a lot of shots, to be honest, if you're uh, just pulling the trigger, because you have to be patient and wait for those sights to come back down. That means that in close quarters, this gun is downright terrible. Now you can do well if you are patient enough to land your headshots and take someone out at close range, but for the most part, you really want to keep your distance with this thing. Uh, I could see it potentially being a little bit better with a um, with a hunter gunslinger who's got uh, gunslinger's trance on. But other than that, I I just don't see this weapon being a better call than a lot of the other scout rifles out there. And that's just my personal opinion. I would rather roll with um, the Tlaloc. I would rather roll with uh, Treads Upon the Stars. I'd rather roll with. Uh, there's a great Suro Scout rifle that's out right now that you can get your hands on from the Gunsmith. There's also a really good Amalon one. So there's just a lot of better options, including the Hung Jury, than the uh, Jade Rabbit, in my opinion. I think it's an interesting gun. It's been a fun gun to play with, but altogether, I can't recommend you use it over other Scout rifles. So that's just my two cents. Hope this has been helpful for you, and uh, hopefully, you get your hands on one and you can tell me what you think about it. Thanks for stopping by, guys.